thinking of going gluten-free or wheat-free, either by uh, something that you have like celiac or just it's a choice, it's a dietary choice. In my view, in, the, in experimenting with this with the last four years, you give up nothing. I mean, we have in front of us, uh, right here is a frittata. Frittata is like the perfect open-faced omelet. It is not only attractive and crazy, people think it's wild and good and wonderful, but it's also super easy and, and it's, it's a great ve vehicle where eggs can kind of support a lot of things that um, you have in the, if you have some mushrooms, you have some potatoes, some herbs, and everything. It's really great. This is a, a acorn butternut squash, which, which is baked and then uh, put under the broiler with a little bit of butter and maple syrup, and a few Arizona dates. And then I have oyster mushroom, sage, and potato as a filler. This is a, a, a pan-seared potato cake that is dusted or crusted in wheat-free flour or gluten-free flour. And it has a little bit of Parmesan cheese, which is microplane, and a salsa verde and a pan-seared scallop butternut squash. This is a pan-seared piece of uh, Block Island sword, and it is with sushi rice that's been made into a cake seasoned with rice, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of fien herb, and then a saute of what could be spinach and lobster mushrooms. In this case, it was chard and lobster mushrooms. So we're going to start with something uh, that's definitely here in fall. It's a little acorn squash. Now, a couple of techniques here is you want to roast this first, get it pretty, um, you can put a little bit of olive oil and salt, and then roast it for 300 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour until it's fork tender. And then the finish, that's the thing you really want to deal with here. That's the reveal. I'm going to fill this up with a touch of maple syrup, because again, you don't want to roast the maple syrup or the butter while you're getting it cooked. Just a little butter, not so much. And then I'm just going to put it underneath a, a broiler or a grill, and that's going to warm it up, but it's also going to caramelize and just soak right in there. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so we've got the acorn squash up there fully roasted, and it's getting seasoned with maple syrup and butter. The next thing we're going to do is take some olive oil and shallots, and we're going to do a little saute to fill it. Again, all gluten-free. Your pan's got to be pretty hot, really hot, if you can. Uh, Heat the pan first, make sure it's bubbling, kind of looks like a skin of an orange. And then shallots. And in, quick, and in quick order, you can see how hot that is. I'm going to be throwing some uh, potatoes in there just to cool it down, get those heated up. Awesome. Now, last, we're going to just take some of these wonderful oyster mushrooms. We get this big chunk of yummies here. and. Uh, I'm just going to kind of tear them apart because I like to keep a little bit of that, that fan quality. And the fan quality to me is the beauty of it. And I'm just going to get enough here. These make great stock. You can brine them up, grind them up, saute them, make a duke salad out of them, roast them in the oven, dry them out, whatever you need. Now if you're going to do mushrooms, the pan has to be super hot or they just become really weepy. They turn into mush, actually. So as hot as you can possibly get it. So that's a little saute we're doing there. Now that's heating up in there. We're gonna just take a peek at it. It's just bubbling away. I'm gonna toss, you don't have to do this, but these are some date, Arizona dates. And that's just gonna be a little surprise at the bottom when I put the saute in there. We're gonna get our sage ready. This is gonna give it seasoning on top. And uh, I'm just gonna stack these up a little bit. So you see how I'm doing that, stacking them up? You can take a big knife or a little knife and just do this. It's called cisle or fine julienne, okay? That's all we need there. And that's just gonna season the top of our, our dish here. So let's check our saute. You see how hot it is and it's really loosening it up and it's starting to brown the outside of the skin of those mushrooms. They're not becoming milky or, but or watery. So the potatoes in this dish are, are going to give it that, that beefy, meaty, substantive quality. And again, it is all vegetarian. There's many things you can do. So if it's not fall and you want to do the same thing, take a giant yam or a sweet potato, bake it, hollow it out, and do the same thing. Same thing as we're doing here. Always a pinch of salt. Get another little spin. That is done. Let's check on this. I think we're ready. 
Oh yeah, bubbling. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Now this is super hot, but... Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. Ow. That's hot. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm just going to layer that in there. Again, don't use your fingers. You'll burn yourself. And the last thing is our julienne sage. And that's it, folks. That's Thanksgiving on a plate. <laughs>